Okay. Hey everybody, Dave Schulkes here. Uh, finally got done with this robot and he's ready to be shipped home. And um, to do that I thought I'd do a couple videos. One of how he is being taken apart and one is how he's being put together. And this is mainly for the new owner so he knows how to do this. So this video is about this assembly. So let's do that right now. Um, the first thing you got to know about either uh, putting this guy together or take them apart is make sure that the arms are in the extended position and you do that like you've seen in some of my other videos with the control software he's hooked up now so let's get his arms sent out so here we go. Okay, they're out and that's as simple as that now let me disconnect him and shut him off that's what i did you shut off and disconnect them now uh, these are silicone rubber arms they're tucked in back here um, you can probably see the first thing you need to do is to gently pull them out You might have to lift up on just a little bit. Oh, you know what? There's uh, screws under here that hold it down. We'll show you these later, a little bit, uh, a little bit farther into the demonstration. But it's good to loosen those screws up so it has has some give on. See, now it's easier to get this out. See how that works? And that's important. It's one of the things I wanted to show. So. Pull this out. We'll do the same on this side. We'll loosen up these screws. They're just they're just, they're just wing nuts. <laughs> I just gotta get my hand back there. The nice thing about the rear vent, you can come in from the back and find it. There we go. Just want to get a little bit of some room so this guy will bounce. See there? And uh, gently take the silicone rubber arm out of there so, so as you don't want to rip it. Okay, now there are the first thing we do next, we want to take the head section off up here Jeff and there are two bolts going down into the torso one directly underneath the center here behind this latch and on the other side there's two ways of doing that either you can um, back up a little bit Jeff whoops I'm dancing here you can either take the arms out first and go up through the armhole and get it or if you got to take the head section off later on uh, for some kind of maintenance you can go in through the rear vent but the deal is you got to reach way up in there it's a little bit of a reach and you got to kind of fish around for it and find it and it's a, it's a wing nut quarter inch wing nut just run it off Quarter-inch wing nut, and there's one on the other side that I've already taken off. So I'm gonna put this in my in my uh, thing. As long as we're here, you don't need this either. This is the power pack. We'll take that off. Get that out of the way. All right, now for the uh, for the head. It's simply, you lift it off, and there's some connectors. So, 
you can see the, the bolts down there that uh, I took the wing nuts off of. So I'm going to put this back on and Jeff is going to help me because this is a two person job. Okay, I'm going to lift this up and Jeff, there's three connectors under here. These to be taken apart. One, two, and that red uh, Allen, uh, right there, Jeff, that red one. What red one, one David? Right in the middle right there. Right there. Right here? This comes off? <laughs> up here. Oh, up there! Yeah. Okay, gang, it's up here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And watch out for ceiling fans. And um, now he's headless, we just put this aside. And you can see, hopefully, the um, the bolts and stuff and the connectors. They're all opposite, so you can't get them mixed up. He stresses two people. It is. It's a two-person job. Okay, next we're going to take the arm off. It slides right out the front, but there's... You probably can't see them, but um, trust me, there's going to be four uh, wing nuts. Two in the front and two in the aft uh, to undo, and then the whole thing will lift up. But before you do that, we have to unplug down here. You'll see there's uh, one, two, three plugs per arm, and the other one's right here. It's so coming through the rear vent and undo these, these three plugs. And again, they're different plugs, they're backwards from each other, and uh, you'll never get them. You'll never get them mixed up, okay? And now I'm going to let Jeff take the camera, and he'll sh he'll kind of film me doing this. Okay, well, like I said before, I've got three plugs in here. They're just Molex connectors. They come apart very easy. Three on this side, and three on this side for the arms. Two. Number six. And then there's the nuts up here. I've already taken a bunch of them off, so I'm just going to take the last one off. It's just a wing nut. Um, it's always best to do the, the, the aft ones first, or else it'll, it'll pitch forward and fall. So the aft one holds in place. Do you want to get up? Okay, now this is the tricky part. These arms only come in and out one way. And remember we have them extended, and this is uh, for a reason. Now, it, right now they kind of drop right into the holes of the shelf in there. You got to pick it up, turn it clockwise, totally upside down, and work it out gently. And you'll see why. Turn it upside down. This is the only way it'll work. There's no other way I've found. And work try to take it out with those and there's a motor on the back that you have to gently come through and pick it up and it comes out simple as that that ain't simple that looks complicated in there yeah wow but it's just a simple clockwise half turn pull it straight out and tip it up and she comes out okay Okay, you want to do it to the other side? Sure. Okay, why not? I've got the screws off already except for one half screw. I'm sorry, nut. And see, it's just a wing nut. When you put them on, they should be finger tight, by the way. Now, again, this is going to be a clockwise turn. I'm sorry, this side is counterclockwise. This side is counterclockwise. The left side is counterclockwise, right side is clockwise. Half turn, gently work it out, get those get those nuts past there. Uh, bring it like this so all the nuts are out. And again, you see the motor there? Tip it up and it comes right out. Wow. See? Alright, that's it. That's it for the arms. Okay, you'll see this is their armhole, and that's the shelf that the uh, arm was bolted into. You can see the holes right there. 
here and here and back there is those aft holes there's two of them back there and what we're going to do now next is to take um, loosen up this these two nuts right here this one and that one that'll let loose of this shelf and there's also some struts down below that we have to uh, take out you can see the uh, the struts right there I know this is a bad that attached to the bottom there there's two of them one here and one here right in front of us I apologize for the poor camera ship here so um, I'm gonna hand the uh, camera over to Jeff and hopefully we can get this done okay um, getting ready to take the shelves out now uh, those two nuts I showed you before up in the front and the one in the aft gotta loosen those up get yourself some and I've already loosened them with a wrench but I had them tightened down pretty good with a wrench uh, just spin them up a ways uh, here's a hint do not mess with the bottom nut because that down there that is where your um, placement when you put this back together it'll all be lined up you don't and you know all you have to do is clamp those nuts down and then uh, each shelf has got two stanchions uh, one one there with the holes in it and then another one right here and they're being held in place with um, some pins screwed pins and I've already got those I've already got those loosened up and um, I will hand the <clears throat> camera over to Jeff now and he'll kind of uh, film me taking them out of there okay be right back. All right here's the um, here's one of the pins from the stanchions it's just a uh, it's just a shoulder bolt and a wing nut. That's all it is. So uh, I've got everything removed. All I got to do is, is get this one pin out of here from below. Okay, pull it out. I've got the last stanchion out. And now to get the wing, the wing out of the wing support, I just slide it out and drop it down the side vent. That's all there is to it. Now the next step will be, uh, there's five screws, or five wing nuts holding the torso down. And once I take those wing nuts off, I, me and Jeff can lift this thing up. Okay? Alright, there's five studs scattered around the bottom of this torso. Here's one right here, and they're being held on with the wing nuts. But there's another one back there, probably in the shadows. And, and they go around. There's another one right... Oh, sorry right there you can see it and there's a few more on the other side I'm going to take those off <clears throat> and then uh, they just unscrew I lost my battery battery's dead okay um, like I was saying uh, there's there's five wing nuts in there you have to take off the studs that poke up I showed those to you also before you take the torso off you have I have on this um, right side I have three connectors. There's one here, one there, and a power pin connector. Those three got to come apart. Uh, and on the other side, there's two connectors here. There's there's a Molex connector right there that's got to come apart. And back here, back there, you'll see a uh, a sound uh, three point five jack that's got to come apart so that it just unplugs you know so I'll do those and uh, once we have those undone uh, me and Jeff will will lift this torso off all right I want to stress this is a two-man job okay you could do it one guy but you risk breaking the knee on you don't want to do that and also when you lift this thing up look above you here make sure there's nothing above you that's going to hit because if this neon touches something like a fan blade or anything it's going to crack you're going to be out of neon so lift it up carefully straight up okay two guys you ready mm -hmm. okay straight up straight up kind of work it up past all the shelves Turn over while I watch where you're going and just set it right down Okay, and that's all that's left to that. And now, 
what we have now left is the is the CSS. This comes off the same way. Uh, there is one plug underneath it that we need to uh, unplug, and I'm going to lift this up and just going to unplug that because this is a two-man job. This is heavy. Well, not really heavy, but it's heavy. I'm going to move my torso out of the way carefully and I'll lift it up and Jeff you can hopefully find the plug under there. One plug and it's done. And that is how you take the robot apart. Um, this stays together as one unit. If you ever want to take this apart uh, you're going to have to figure out how to do it. <laughs> There's basically screws up on top here and nuts that you have to undo and the, the top piece will come off, then the inside comes off. My past videos show how I built it, how it was put together. You can use that as a guide on how to undo this or how to put it all back together. But this leg section can usually be left together and transported like this. Okay, that's how it's done. Thanks a lot for watching. And thank you, Jeff. Boom. Thank you.